Data is everywhere, being generated by all the technology in our lives every second of every day. But how do we take all this jumbled data and turn it into a model? We fit a curve to it. Of course, this is easier said than done. How can we take all these unconnected data points and turn them into a cohesive and reusable model? That's the question we'll be answering today. What is curve fitting? And how do we perform it in MATLAB? As you may well know, Data in its raw form is largely unhelpful for an engineer who's just trying their best to make computations or conclusions based on it. For data to become truly usable and put an overwhelmed engineer at ease, it must be processed. Curve fitting does this processing by applying a trend to raw data through literally fitting a curve to it by fitting a mathematical expression that best represents the data. Plus, Applying techniques like pre-processing and cleaning up data make our curve fit more robust against pesky outliers and disruptive noisy data points. Curve fitting allows us to see the story that our data is trying to tell us. By cutting through the noise and in individual data points, and instead getting to the overall trends of the data and understanding the effects of different factors and parameters, we can glean real conclusions. This is essential when making sense of large data sets. Now, I'm sure we've all seen data before. So let's look at some data which might just blow us away. It's data from wind turbines. Wind turbines rotate when the wind blows. This rotating motion then turns a generator, which creates power in the form of electricity. Based on this chain of events, we can plot out the sigmoidal relationship between wind speed and the power output of the turbine, representing wind turbine operation. We can assume this relationship is sigmoidal, since the wind needs to be at a certain speed to begin pushing the wind turbine's blades, and at a certain higher speed, the generator maxes out how much electricity it can output. Other factors play a role in how much power a wind turbine puts out, but we'll get to those in a bit. So how do we get from data, the wind speed and power output of a turbine, with its fair share of outliers, to the sigmoidal curve? Well, curve fitting, of course! Let's dive in. 